Hey, Sagittarius, Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Um, getting ready here to do your October love reading. Um, we're going to do a you versus them spread. Um, it's after the breakup, after the relationship breakup. So we'll see what the energies are that are playing out current and going forward. Um, so this will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. <clears throat> if you want to get a personal reading, all the links, everything you need to know is below. Okay. All right. Let's get started here, Sagittarius. Remember, take these readings with a grain of salt. Um, let's see. What is the relationship's current energy at this time? Okay. All right. Ten of Wands. So there's an energy here of like exhaustion. Um, I feel like it's an ending. And it feels like just, you know, both parties are just taking a break. Both parties are like feeling overburdened, feeling just completely exhausted, tired of arguing, tired of fighting, maybe taking, um, it could be a temporary split, but it's like taking a break from each other, not stressing about anything, just like leaving it be, leaving it alone, leaving, yeah, leaving it alone at this time, okay? Um, the 10 always represents like an ending. Um, we've gone as far as we can go at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe pick back up later. We'll have to see in November. But at this time, it feels like the current energy is just, you know what? <sighs> Somebody's overburdened, has a lot on their plate, and just cannot keep carrying an extra load. Somebody feels like they are carrying the weight of the relationship. Okay. So what is the root cause of the split? Okay, indecision, really. Someone at a crossroad doesn't know which way to go. Um, this kind of feels like a stalemate, like stalled energy. Not sure what path to take, not sure what to do. How do we get back to the beginning? Um, which direction do we go? How do, do we, are we even on the same page? Are we going in the same direction? Okay, so a lot of questions. It, it might have just been like somebody was pushing uh, a round peg into a square hole, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Just a lot of questions, trying to seek answers, trying to find balance. And it's just like <sighs> exhausting. Okay, exhausting. Okay, so Sagittarius, what? is this person's true feelings for you right now okay all right so they feel like this relationship can be successful all this wand energy crazy maybe you have a connection with a fire sign but this person feels like this relationship can be successful they can be victorious um there can be <clears throat> A winning outcome to this okay and and they feel very strongly about this okay they feel that there could be victory um, they feel like they feel like you're a winner they feel like that's how they view you Sagittarius like you you know whatever your struggles are in your life this person like their true feelings for you is that they praise you and they feel like you, you know, you've got what it takes, you know, but I feel like, you know, to see this through with them, but I just kind of feel like at this time they are, you know, the energy is like, I don't know what to do right now. I don't know how to go about it. I don't know what path to take. So I'm just kind of standing still and just letting, like letting the chips fall where they may at this time right? Which is crazy because, you know, all of these cards, you know, it, they're action cards, okay? Um, I feel also this person wants to praise you. They want to give you like kudos. They want to, they want to prop you up. You know, there's a lot of pride that this person has for you as well. Okay. Um, but I've, it's very rare you're going to see action cards, that are in the stalemate position that are really not moving, you know, um, but that here we go. Okay, so let me see what are their true intentions towards you right now at this time, their true intentions. 
All right, so this person, I do feel like they would like to date, okay? Um, they'd like to spend time with you, celebrate, have fun, do fun things, um, be in union, be in harmony with you. Um, threes can be about birth, possibly have a child together. Um, but their intentions at this time is not to get serious, okay? If there's an opportunity to date um, or date again or come back together, I feel like this person does have that on their heart, that that is something that they would be open to, but they can't, there's something about them that they're at a crossroads. They don't know about getting serious at this time, okay? Um, maybe it's just not the right time or maybe a lot has happened you know, um, or a lot's going on. There's a lot of burden, a lot of tasks, a lot of heavy weight on both of your shoulders. And it might, uh, you know, I feel like they do want to be in harmony though. They do, they would do want to talk to you and keep talking, but kind of keep it like very friendly. The three of cups can be like supportive energy, be as supportive as they can towards you. But as far as like, Eh, it's tough like the cups are there and that means that there's emotion and feeling toward you but their intentions at this time are just to keep it very simple and light okay um, so what is the future nature of this relationship going forward um, hmm, wait and see <laughs> this is a wait and see um, hmm. you know, Sagittarius, I feel like it's up to you, really. I feel like um, the future of this relationship will be up to you in all in how you view it. Because I feel like if, if you wanted to, you know, have something serious with this person, they would follow in suit. And if you wanted to you know, this is an after breakups. So if you wanted to get back together and work on it, they would follow suit. If you want to just be friends, they would follow with that as well. If you want to just date, I feel like this person would want to follow that as well. But I don't think they would want to date forever. Because if you were in a relationship with them before and something broke down, now two people don't know what to do. Um, I, I just feel like... You know, if, if it turns out that you guys are just going to stay friends, then they're okay with that as well. The hanged man, it's like, it kind of seems like very passive energy. I feel like this person isn't going to make any moves. They're not going to initiate. I don't feel like this person is going to lead the way um, I, at this time, you know, for October. Because I don't, it doesn't feel like they really are sure what to do. Okay. I don't, it doesn't feel like they are sure. Let me see why the energy is like that, okay? Because when they want to invest, they're going to go all the way, but something is keeping them. Two of Pentacles, yeah, okay. So the root cause and the reason why there's a crossroad here and not sure which way to go, two and a two is trying to get in balance. Um, there might be difficulty with you and this person getting in sync with each other. And so they're not going to try to force it, okay? I think it's almost like when the timing is right, and that's what the hanged man is. It's patience, um, trying to become enlightened. When the time is right, then, then maybe that's when things can move forward. Um, but when they do, I feel like this person, you know, they have, their intention is to put their all in the future, you know, that Ace of Pentacles energy is invest wholly, like massive investment. There's they, This person feels there's great potential um, for security and long term and I don't know, um, <laughs> good finances and stuff like that. But they're, they might be trying to get themselves balanced as well to figure out, you know, get emotionally stable as well. Or get their finances together as well so i feel like the future relationship the nature of this is that there is a potential for things to move forward but this person is not going to push it forward in october they are not because i feel like they are 
they're just very unsure. And I don't know if they're unsure that you want to, or if they're unsure about you, or unsure about themselves. Uh, there's just this, you know, I'm standing at the crossroads here, and I'm not sure which path to take. I, I don't know. There's a lot of doubt going on at this time. Okay, what is the best step, though, for you, Sagittarius, to take going forward? The best step for Sagittarius to take going forward. Okay, well, good. The best step for you is to make changes in your life that are in your favor. But you first have to understand what that is. What is going to work for you? What is the best outcome for you? Okay. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is all about change and it's about major change. It's not little minor changes, but you work towards that major change by doing little changes. Okay. Because you have to build layer upon layer upon layer. That's how change happens. It's not one big impulsive, all right, tomorrow I'm going to be president of the United States. And then boom, you are. That's wishful thinking and that's having visions of grandeur. No, change is in the little daily um, mindful practices towards a goal, towards something that you want to do. So let's say, for example, let's say you want to build your muscles. So it's not an overnight thing. You have to put in that effort every little bit. And I'm just using it as an example and build upon that layer upon layer upon layer. It's slow. It's perseverance. It's persistence. Okay. Um, that is how you come to the jackpot. <laughs> now, every once in a while, some of us scratch off those, you know, lottery numbers and boom, but most of the time, no. Okay. So what's going to work for you, Sagittarius, in making change in your life and to get those wheels mo moving forward so that you can increase in, in, in abundance, in emotional abundance, in stability, in physical abundance, financial work. This is building, okay? This is building. And I feel for you, Sagittarius, that, you know, whether this relationship comes back into fruition or not, at this time, you have a huge opportunity to be on the increase, okay? And also, don't get stuck in indifference or apathy or feeling like this person does not care about you or does not love you because that is the farthest from the truth. Be careful of being too emotionally attached or shutting down. If you're going through a healing process after some kind of a breakup, I feel like the change needs to come is like to get clear, not to be indifferent to your feelings, but to get clear, to, uh, to take that step for yourself to say, to feel what you feel and then label what you're feeling. Before you take any action, um, if you're feeling sad and you know you're feeling sad, you may immediately want to get yourself out of that. But before you do that, because that's okay, you can do that. But before you do that, Sag, I feel like for you during this time period is for you to sit with that feeling for just a moment and say, hey, I feel sad right now. Identify that. You know, um, don't let it run you. Own it and say, hey, I feel sad or I'm grieving or whatever. Um, don't let your emotions control you. Allow yourself to say, hey, I'm in charge here. Yes, I'm feeling sad and I'm going to sit with this for a minute and absorb that and I know it will pass and then I'll go back to doing what I'm doing in the meantime because I feel like this is a beautiful opportunity here for you after a breakup or some kind of split for you to be on the mend and be on the increase because for you, this is something you need to do for yourself, okay? Um, and you know what? Everything external to you is in favor of this. Okay. Opportunities are going to come, but you opportunities come all the time, but you have to be the one to say, is this going to be for my best interest, this opportunity? Because a lot of opportunities present themselves. A lot of times you may feel like that doesn't happen at all, but it's because you're not seeking, you're not aware. Opportunities are going to come, but the thing is the choices you make have the effect on you long-term later down the road. Okay. <laughs> It takes, it takes a minute for that cheeseburger you ate to get through your system. But believe me, when it comes out the other end, it's not going to be nice. So the choices you make today are the choices that are going to have a f an effect on you tomorrow. 
<clears throat> so when the opportunities come for you to be on the increase and to make better within self while you're going through this separation period, take that opportunity. <clears throat> and I know you know this because you're smart, Sagittarius. Take that opportunity to say, is this path, is this going to be right for me further down the line? Is this going to be right for this relationship with this person? If, if we do reconcile further down the line, is this going to benefit? Okay. <clears throat> so there you go. I feel like that's your reading for the month of October. I will be back in November and we'll do another check-in, see how things are going. And I wish you all the best, Sagittarius, all the best, much love, much peace, much abundance, and I will see you soon. Take care.